Hi lovelies, so today we're doing a quick little video on a review of a new type of heat set paint that's come out. So as most of you in the Reborn community are aware, COVID hit a lot of us hard, including companies that produce our supplies. So I exclusively have been using the Genesis heat set paint. Last year, I believe it was maybe halfway through, Genesis announced that they were no longer going to be producing their paints or mediums any longer. I did what I think everyone did, and as soon as Genesis got any stock in, I ordered what I could, like, as much as I could. Which wasn't much, but it was still, it's enough to keep me going for, for quite some time. The one thing I couldn't get was the heat set matte varnish. So, like everyone else, I've been patiently waiting for a new heat set matte to come out. And there are a couple that have come out. So there's one by Phoenix and then there's one by another company that I can't remember off the top of my head. In the meantime, I've been using an air dry type of matte varnish. I don't really like it. Yeah, like with everything you do super thin layers, but I was still for the last year or so having issues, especially when I root the hair after sealing it with this um, air dry. So I heard about the Phoenix heat set paint and saw that they have a matte varnish, went on to Aussie Reborn Supplies. I'm not sure where else you can buy it, but an Akravenko is great. So I've ordered it and it has arrived. It arrived today. I have three babies here on my work table that I'll show you in a minute. Now, from the information I was given by Annette herself, she's great like that. You use it exactly how you would use the Genesis heat set paint. The first thing I did notice, I'm gonna open the gel for you. It's a very different consistency to the Genesis. Different products, different consistencies, that's okay. But I still treated it exactly as I would have with the Genesis. So this, it looks fairly thin. It looks like it's just going to glide on. It doesn't. It's very sticky. It's thicker than it looks. You could apply it straight to the vinyl. I prefer to thin things out first. So that's what I did. I mixed it with a bit of thinner, thinned it out, not too much, but enough so that it glides on in a thin layer and then went over it with a sponge that I've torn so that it, so that it's not a smooth surface because that helps with creating the matte effect. Um, I've then baked the baby. Now I baked it exactly as I would for heat for the Genesis. Um, so I did my usual 12 minutes and then a further six minutes. Um, I will do a second 12 minute bake, which I used to do with Genesis as well, just because I'm paranoid, I guess. Paranoia for the win. So this baby is what I used the new Phoenix matte varnish on. So I'm gonna apologize in advance about the lighting. It is nighttime here in Perth, but we'll work with what we got. So this is baby Alyssa. She's a real born kit. And I've used the new heat set matte varnish on her. There's no chalky residue. There's a couple of spots that feel a little rough, but that's just where it's a little bit thicker. And that's exactly what I used to have happen with the Genesis heat set. Other than that, I'm super happy with it. There's no shine. She does appear to have a little bit of a shimmer. A shimmer is very different to shine though. Um, her leg, whoops, a bit of fluff, and her foot, there is no shine on there. No shine. Um, in the creases, I, let's see if we can get the camera to focus. There we go. Um, the creases, I probably didn't get enough out of the creases or I've accidentally put too much in. So one leg has a bit of dry, crusty skin and one doesn't. That again, exactly the same as what would happen with the Genesis paint. So first baby using this sealer on. 
um, using it exactly as I was for Genesis, as I said, and super happy. So I still need to do eyebrows, which I do with the Ultimate Fusion paint. And then I can seal that, which I use the Ultimate Fusion Sealer for. And then eyelashes. So all in all, the Phoenix paint, well, the heat set matte anyway, is definitely a Sarah or Baby B Reborn Nursery approved. Um, I'm going to do one thing I used to do with Genesis when I started. I'm not sure if you can see. So with my finger now, I'm just going to scratch the heel. And that hasn't caused it to become chalky. Nothing. So to me, that's great. Great product. So from my perspective, it's definitely a, a good product. I've sure only done one baby. But for me to do a review on something, I'm not going to do it unless I know I'm happy with it. And this, easy to use. I've actually found it a little bit easier than I did with mixing the Genesis. Um, and it hasn't changed the colour of the vinyl like some air dry ones do. So yeah, definitely worth giving it a go. As always with painting Reborns, thin layers are best. You can always add more. But it, it can be really difficult to take away. So grab your Phoenix heat set mat. I will eventually test out the paints and see, compare them to the Genesis paint. But for now, just the matte. So give it a go.